Hello everyone! Today I'm going to show you how to make a really easy and versatile punch. It tastes great with whiskey, rum, pisco, or tequila, and even zero proof spirits or no spirits at all. It's just a really delicious punch that uses festive seasonal ingredients. It's hectic enough during this holiday season to put a whole bunch of time and effort into a cocktail recipe. So this punch is very low effort and not your typical wee pearl recipe. Blood Orange is the star of the show. These are in season right now and I can't stop eating them. They're tart and sweet and also have a raspberry-like flavor to them. I'm pairing them with pomegranate molasses, cinnamon, and rosemary to make this punch's base. If you have a little extra time, you can use the peels to make an oleosaccharum to sweeten the punch. To make oleosaccharum, you combine the citrus peels with an equal volume of sugar by weight. You can heat them together in a pot, or you can massage them together in a bag until a syrup forms. You'll know it's ready when there are no more visible sugar crystals. I have a lot going on today, so I'm just going to be making a spice simple syrup. I will still save the peels to express over the top of the punch though. To a pan, I'm adding a third cup of sugar, a third cup of water, half a cinnamon stick, and a rosemary sprig. I'll heat this all together until the sugar has dissolved. I'll remove the rosemary and cover the syrup with the cinnamon stick still in it. I'll let this cool completely and store in the fridge until I'm ready to use it. Now I'm going to peel half of the blood oranges and set the peels aside. Now I'll juice my blood oranges. I'm using seven blood oranges for this punch. Once they're all juiced, I'm going to add one ounce of pomegranate molasses. Pomegranate molasses is delicious. It adds a nice fruity zippiness to this punch. To this blood orange and pomegranate mixture, I'll be adding the spice simple syrup and the spirit. I'm making a zero proof version of this using Monday's Mezcal, but please feel free to use any spirit you like. This is great with tequila, rum, whiskey, gin, or pisco. If you're feeling extra fancy, add two to three ounces of amaretto or a less bitter amaro like Montenegro or Nonino, along with the spirit of your choice. Give this a mix, then pour it into your punch bowl filled with ice. I'm using large ice cubes because they won't dilute the punches quickly. I'll add some blood orange wheels and some rosemary sprigs and then I'll express those peels over the top to give this punch a lovely citrus essence. While I don't recommend adding sparkling wine to the punch bowl itself, I highly encourage you to serve this punch with a bottle of bubbly on the side for your guests to top off their drink. If you add sparkling wine directly to the punch, it will go flat very quickly which is not what you want at a festive holiday party. A sparkling rosé is choice here. It will really play up those raspberry notes from the blood orange. I'm using this fantastic sparkling tea by Copenhagen Company. It evokes a similar flavor palette. And here it is, a super simple, very versatile punch that's perfect for any holiday party. Thank you all so much for tuning in, and I'll see you all again with another cocktail video soon. Cheers!